Patriots Day in Boston, the early first pitch for the Red Sox, a tradition since 1968. Daniel Bard on the hill for the Sox, his second career major league start. The Rays counter with James Shields, his third start on the young season. Top two, Bard gets a brunch serving of defense from Ryan Sweeney, keeping runs off the board. In return, Bard gives the defense the top of the third inning off, three strikeouts. Shields counters in the fourth, relying on his defense as he induces the double play off the bat of Big Poppy, grounds into the shift 6-5-3. Top five, Rays threaten, Bard retires Longoria with the K. The converted reliever holds the Rays scoreless through six, but he walks into trouble in the seventh. A four-pitch walk to Carlos Pena loads him up for Evan Longoria. Here's the 3-0 pitch. It's high, ball four. And he has walked Longoria with the bases loaded. And the Rays take a 1-0 lead here in the seventh. And here comes Bobby Valentine. That call courtesy of WDAE. Valentine goes four pitches too long with Bard. As Justin Thomas comes in and with bases still lit with Rays, Luke Scott flies out to right. Bottom seven, one run advantage. Shields shows how it's done. Strike him out, throw him out to finish the frame. Eight and one third shutout innings from Shields, who turns it over to Rodney, who faces Ross with the tying run at second. The stretch, the pitch. That is strike three called, and the Rays win one nothing at Fenway. That call courtesy of WDAE, the loss for Bard, he now drops to 0-2. The win for Shields, now 2-0. And, oh. and on the day when thousands run 26.2 miles through Boston, the Rays pick up the win on a couple of 90-foot walks. Joe Madden earns managerial victory number 500.